welcome back to Team NT, the Hyperstone Heist. I'm your host, Awesome Sauce. Awesome Sauce. And holy crap, I'm on a surfboard. Okay, uh, as you can see, the gimmick of this level is that you're surfing on a surfboard. And the music, awesome! Uh, this is the music from Sewer Surfing, which is a level in uh, Turtles of Time. It's sped up a little bit, um, but it's amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Brar. Yeah. Anyway, I think I was going to talk to you. There's not much to talk about this game other than I'm eating pizza in the sea. I'm just eating some weird question mark pizza floating around in the, in the sea. It's, it's delicious, too. Mmm, tastes like bird shit. I wouldn't put it past the turtles, anyway. I remember, like, the weird uh, toppings they would always have on their pizza in the old cartoon, like tuna fish and jelly beans. Freaking Michelangelo, dude. I don't know. I don't know about that guy sometimes. Rawr. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you're making me miss my, uh... Making me miss my bird shit pizza. Mmm. Make me feel good inside. That doesn't make me feel good inside. Just so you know, I'm probably gonna die at some point. I have three lives, and I'm gonna lose all of them. Alright. I don't know what that pizza's for, really. And we're on a pirate ship. I don't know what's happening. Oh, God. Okay. Anyway, uh, not much to say in this game. Beat ninjas on a pirate ship. <laughs> That's ironic. Oh, authority. Where are the pirates? My question. Rawr. Rawr. When I'm scared of losing my health, I usually just do jump kicks a bunch, but it takes for freaking ever. I don't have that kind of patience. Whoa, die. <laughs> Die, Mr. Shuriken Face. The idea is to kill them before anybody else is at all possible, because they're kind of giant douchebags. They don't throw shuriken, they throw throwing knives. I'm not going to be able to make this, because that shredder painting falls down. Ooh, a flip. How did I do a flip? But alas, I still got enough health to sustain me, so... It's all good. Um, yeah, I was gonna talk about something. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, from the last video, I was starting to talk about my other YouTube channel. Um, I used to do vlogs, and uh, this wasn't that long ago, actually. It was a really, really short time ago that I was doing, um, you know, vlog-style videos, like, uh, you know, like Charlie is so cool, like, or any number of other vloggers on right now. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of point to what I was saying, and it was meant for comedy, and I put music to it, and uh, I enjoyed it, but I never felt like, like, especially when I was doing them, I never felt like they were any good. I always felt horrible about them. I always felt like, oh man, waste of time, it's not any good, blah, 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 all that insecurity crap that, you know, people go through when they're creating something. It was to the point of ridiculous, and every time I did it, like, I liked the end result, but it still felt a little forced and scripted. And, uh, then I started LPing with Sweet Victory, and... It's like a vlog, but I get to play video games, which is something I enjoy doing. And haven't, you know, had the time to really do regularly um, in my undergraduate degree, or didn't make the time for it. But um, now I do, and I'm having tons of fun. You freaking jerk. I'm having tons of fun doing this, so I don't think I'm going to be vlogging too much anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed that Can't Stop the Motion. Uh, spread that to your friends, you know. I give us some suggestions for other stuff to do related to gaming. I mean, we love, you know, doing this stuff. We love LP, but I mean, we would love suggestions for other things that we could do with this channel. Um, for example, we uh, we have some ideas for skits that we're gonna film uh, next summer, including one called Explode Guy. Uh, those may go up on an alternate channel, depending. I'm not sure. I don't know. I would also like to get a capture card for Christmas, so I can start doing some LPs of more modern games. Ah, you jerks. That's the problem with this. Like, they will friggin' rape you if they get you in a corner like that. And they'll pick you up every time you get up, or they'll punch you again every time you get up. It's friggin' ridiculous. So you just gotta keep at it, and hopefully not have that happen. Ah, I lost the life. I did so much better on my first playthrough. That's always the case, isn't it? You just start talking, and... Happen. The music in this level is actually not, I mean, it's good, but it's not my favorite. 
pirate ship level is not my favorite. What? I love pirates. I'm, I'm actually a fan of pirates over ninjas. Die! Yeah, that's right. Punch you in the face, just like a transformer. And that guy... Okay, you'll notice something about this guy here. That guy with the gun, a lot of times he will use it to not shoot you, but hit you. I don't know if I can get you an example of it. But I'm just gonna knock him off the thing. And that's the end of that level. Man, I'm just going through it. I'm just zooming today. Um, okay, and uh, we're in a cave. I don't understand. Alright, guys. Um, oh, that's not the end of the level, is it? Blar! It's not. It's not the end of the level. There's another boss to fight down here. You know. Dustly. Um, okay, LPs that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I guess this, I ramp on so much, it's pretty ridiculous. Rar! I'm going to stick my thin rod inside these guys. Sword, that is. Sword. You perverts. Rar. I don't know what those three things are, but they don't look like effective nunchucks. I think they're doing it wrong. Oh crap. Oh god. What's happening? I'm probably gonna die again, just so you know. I'm I'm not that good at these games. They're fun, but um, not excellent. Yeah, die rock man. And I don't mean I don't mean Mega Man. Either. I mean you, Mr. Guy made out of rocks. I already killed him, why am I talking to him still? They call me the game whisperer. I can talk to video game characters. I also like to collect stamps. Wow, that's so lame. The problem with these kind of games, there's like nothing to talk about. I mean, there's not nothing to talk about. I can talk about the turtle. Uh, how many of you guys out there are fans of the new series? Who just hit me? It's ridiculous. Don't. What? My jump kicks aren't working anymore. See, they all try to surround you like that. They have a strategy. And they try to get around you. And own your face. I hate this level. I hate those silver guys. I have beaten this game before, rest assured. That was a long time ago on easy mode. But I kept it on normal because I don't want to look like a puss. Um, so yeah. I feel horrible about that. But see, all of you... The hit detection is such that it, uh, these guys will try to get around you and you can't hit them at the same time to save your freaking life. No, seriously? No. No, I refuse to believe you're still alive. It takes forever to kill. They're the most overpowered piece of shit in the whole game. And of course, I far... Uh, oh, almost said that a bad word. Almost said a bad word. I messed that one up, of course. What? See? He hit me with his freaking bazooka. Even these guys have that same strategy. Get behind him so you can kill him. So he can't do all the attacks at once at once. No. That's right. Oh, I just got an extra life. Thank God. Once you get to 300, you get an extra life. The thing about it is, is the game's point system is so messed up. Every bad guy, regardless of difficulty, is worth one point. So I've literally killed 300 bad guys in this game. I killed, maybe, I don't know. It's also hard to do grabs in this game. I don't know why. No, no, you're not. You're not gonna do that to me. No, sir. Oh, Rocksteady. Uh, you look delicious. I'm hungry for some turtle soup. Well, if you don't have a kettle, that's gonna be rather difficult. And his, uh, his MO is basically the same as, uh... His MO is basically the same as, uh, friggin' the sewer shark, uh, no, no, the sewer alligator, right? That Cajun alligator, his MO is almost identical. He walks around doing the funky chicken. Can we get the audio on that?
Funky chicken with a gun. Funky chicken in space. Ugh. Yeah, he has a couple extra attacks, but basically he walks up and down, tries to charge you, and then shoots you with some kind of weapon. Um, except he has less range with his weapon. And he can kick you when you're trying to attack him like that. Funny thing is, is when he tr tries to charge like that, if you stand next to him, he won't be able to get you. It's pretty ridiculous. And you can, you can do that too. Oh, I'm just gonna stand over here and avoid you. Cause you're freaking lame. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Now, if you're trying to get the most hits out of him, that becomes a little more hard. A little more hard. Mm. When he starts flashing red like that, you know, you got him. Remember, when I see you next time, I'll beat you. And then he explodes. And I don't know why, because Rocksteady was not a robot. Ah, well. Got the cowabunga. Yeah. Scene 3, Shredder's Hideout. Wow, we got there quick. From the cave. I guess it makes a little more sense, but how did we get to Japan by traveling on a ghost ship? <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. Okay, guys, this has been Awesome Sauce with Let's Play TMNT, the Hyperstone Heist. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Please keep an eye out for um, my random LP, which is going to be Home Improvement, the game. Uh, that's going to be a three-episode deal, each one ten minutes. If I don't win, which I won't in three episodes, if I if I don't you know do well enough to know that I'm going to eventually be able to win, it will end after three episodes, and you'll just get to see me be fail sauce for for three episodes. It's it's quite quite fun. Anyway. Um, I'll see you guys next time.